I'm hurting guys. This shit isn't fun. I can't justify doing any more work here in the gym. It's just gonna make me sicker and in more pain. The pain in my lower abdomen. But I will say that I do feel like what was done today was effective. I mean, my legs are fat and they done lost all their definition. All right, all right. Once again, heavy duty crew, we are back at the Acadiana Muscle. We are here to train legs. It is September the 11th, day of the dancing Israeli. We'll never forget. I'll never stop noticing. 13 and a half weeks out from our first national stage debut, I will be receiving my plans tonight on what Phil wants to do. He was very happy with the posing that we sent him after last work, after Sunday's workout. Um, he's very excited, I'm very excited, but cripplingly nervous as well. Nah, it's probably much less my nervousness than whatever gut issues I have going on right now. Not really sure what's going on with that, guys. I think it may be a lactose intolerance that I've developed. Hold up. We'll see, I'm just having a lot of really cramping stomach pain my upper abdominals down the middle feels like gas but ugh, enough of that shit. let's talk about training so moving forward for this competition prep i'm going to change up my leg training we're going to go back to prioritizing the hamstrings the glutes are going to be involved now the adductors are going to take a highlight really want to just fill out those areas so as i get leaner they show more they show harder they show more defined because we know that from the front I'm gonna be a Mac. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna be dry. I'm gonna be dice. I'm gonna be inside out from the waist up and down. But when I turn around, that's when I start to have problems. I got thick skin on my ass. You know, the hamstrings, the shape of them, they spiral up instead of straight up and down. So I just need to have more definition there. And that's gonna be the strategy that it's gonna take for us to win. So, yep, we're gonna start off this uh, workout. We're gonna start training with the Pitch Arc RDL. I have another RDL machine variation that I can use in the future if I'm unassisted. My wife will be here today to uh, work the controls. Then we're going to move on to the leg press is the second movement, which is going to be oh, absolutely brutal. Then we've got adduction, abduction, and if we can handle it, we'll do a seated hamstring curl and a leg extension after. So what did we do here? We, well, we prioritized the posterior chain with the pitch arc RDL. That's pretty much the change of the workout. And uh, yeah, I think that's sufficient, man. We know what it did last time. We put it in the work, in the training. It was fantastic, so looking forward to getting back to that. Let's fucking crush it. Let's see what we can do with these. That's what I look like? Is that what I look like with no pants on? That is fucking immense. Look at that, babe. Looking like a pro bodybuilder already. Just walked into the gym. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, here we have the Pitch Arc RDL. So I was saying something earlier about, um, you know, using this one when I have assistance. And I had a bit of an epiphany while I was warming up. This platform is hollow underneath. The braces are on each side. So what I did is we had some blocks. They're like giant Lego pieces. You can stack them up as much as you need. Well, I simply slid that underneath here and the rubber stop gives me a stopping point where um, I don't need someone to hold the safety latch. I can actually set the bar down and let go of the handle without it pinning my feet to the uh, pad with 400 plus pounds of weight on it. So that's fantastic. Yeah, a bit of an epiphany to get that there. You know, as a former six plate puller, probably five years ago at this point, you know, I haven't ever, I haven't been big on the hinging movements in a long time. The whole lower back, the uh, mylar sheath, the posterior chain working in unison to perform these hinging movements, just that is gonna be the weak point, the lower back and such. So I'm only gonna have three plates and uh, a half on each side. I've got the stop, so I'm not gonna go too far down into my lower back. Uh, going so much further isn't gonna give me any more hamstring stimulation. I'm really just going to be trying to focus on getting a good stretch and pull through my hamstrings. My glutes are going to be involved. As my hamstring gets, hamstrings get weaker, my glutes are going to start to pick up more. And as I get closer and closer to failure, you know, it's just going to drive that way up. Talking in circles here, kind of procrastinating, knowing that this shit is going to suck. Everything about leg day sucks, guys. I don't like this shit. This shit's hard. It's heavy. It brutalizes you. So yeah, I decided to put on one of my trophies, you know, 
Worn this custom belt. It says overall champ on the inside. Won it at the 2023 Kuklo Classic with my overall champion bodybuilder title. So we're wearing that today. You don't see me wear a belt a lot, but we're using it for extra stability, extra bracing potential. I'm gonna need every bit I can get. You know what I'm saying? Look at them quad veins coming out to play, baby. All right, enough of the bullshit. All right, definitely felt my lower back. <laughs> getting a nasty pump, letting me know it was getting worked, which is a good thing. There's muscles in there that number one, need to be strengthened for the safety of the rest of my body. Number two, where that back meets those glutes, if all that is full and thick, it creates an excellent transition from your upper body to your lower body. And that's the roots of that Christmas tree. Everybody loves the Christmas tree, man. That'll make you stand out, so. That's a good thing. My glutes are on fire. My hamstrings are almost numb. We could definitely go up on weight next time, <sighs> but I think we'll do small increments over the next three or four sessions. That way we can condition this lower back and not jump too far ahead. So yeah, I think that was a success. Reps were a little higher. That's okay. You know, like I said, I don't want to go too far and have the weak link in the chain cause me problems. A lower back issue could shut this whole thing down early. Well, it's only getting better from here, right? We got leg press next. Yay! I'll see you there. All right, so every day I learn something new for better or for worse, or sometimes for both, like in this case. All the time when I would use this machine, I would think to myself, I wish I could adjust the seat further back. That would make it much harder on my quads. Somehow, over the last year of training here, I seem to ignore this fucking sticker that tells me exactly how to do that. <coughs> now, mind you, I only saw that sticker after I looked at this thing, realized that there was a gap here, looked on the inside, and saw a semicircular plate with holes punched in it. Which means, you guessed it, the seat moves up and down. So now we have a much more quad focused leg press. And instead of seven plus plates on each side, I think five is gonna do it today because, oh my God, on the warm up sets, it was so direct. Now, granted, we have fatigue in the hamstrings and glutes from the first ex exercise, so they're not gonna be catching the slack. But with the seat pad further and further back, it's, it's quads, baby. And it really is quads, baby. So we're gonna feel it out. We're gonna try five plates today. We're gonna take it to failure or as close to as possible, wherever I feel safest. You know, unless I my pants or literally my asshole out or start vomiting. Or how about aneurysm? I've got a major headache right now and my gut is just annoying me. I'm belching and farting and my, tu my tummy hurts. But um, we're gonna feel this set out, log it and see where to go from there. But I can guarantee one thing, it's gonna be stimulating on the quads. So yeah, for better and for worse, we learned something today. Thank you, Cybex, Strith Technologies. Have mercy, Lord. Ah. 
I would like to be anywhere but here right now, guys. I don't love this shit. Oh, this shit loves me. Oh my God. Oh. 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 my God. Yeah, I felt nothing but my hamstrings engage on the final rep. I got my feet way low in the pad. My knees are way over my toes. I mean, I'm really digging the quads. I could, you know, make it more balanced on myself and, and make it easier to press. That sucked. That was really fucking hard, really scary. I didn't feel a ton of shear forces on my knees and I can feel them toward the end, but not like acute pain or anything. Just, hey, where the quads tie in right there, they're getting mashed on, you know? That was a doozy. I don't feel so good. Oh, my quads are smoked though, partner. Hey, the more you know, so moving forward for you guys, always check your leg press machine. If you're wanting to do leg press for the hamstrings and glutes, seat forward. If you want it for the quads, seat backwards. My quads got annihilated. That was awesome. Hey, this is called adduction. And that's where you squeeze your legs together. So 235, I'm gonna go for eight to 10 reps. I'm fatigued more so than I would be when I get to them previously in previous workouts. So I'll call it a win if I get eight reps and then we'll go nine next time and 10 the next time and then to 240 and so on and so forth. My the guns. All right, fuck. Excuse me guys, sorry. <sighs> That's a win. Another win. All I do is win, 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 no matter win. what. All right, well, as nasty and beat up as I feel, my legs do feel like they're 36 inches around. That set to failure on adduction was incredible. Just what I wanted, so hoping to get the same thing out of this abd duction. And uh, it has been doing its job because I notice a fullness and hardness on the outside of my glutes, on the outsides of my legs that was missing before. So excited to put this back in. Let's uh, let's take her for a ride, shall we? Oh, shit. Oh. <sighs> I felt it all the way to the glute tie-ins, man. You can see them. Whoo! Excellent training today. Let me decide if I really need to do anything else because the only thing I may accomplish going further is just making myself utterly sick. So I'm gonna take three minutes and, and see where I'm going from here. All right, so after some rest, 
I just decided I'm gonna bitch out today and uh, I'm not gonna do those two sets of isolation for hamstring and quads. I was gonna do a quad extension and a seated hamstring curl, but I feel so, I might have so much pain in my gut and a headache. I'm not gonna be able to get the kind of stimulus I want that's gonna be worth the additional fucked up I am gonna be after trying to do that with that much effort. So I'm a big pussy. <laughs> And I'm pussing out, and uh, I'm a bitch. And if you if you if you want to be the best, don't act like me. I think I'm calling into work tomorrow, and I'm going to the doctor, and I'm gonna shit in a cup or something, and they can examine my turds, and maybe they can decipher uh, what's what's wrong with me. Run a scope up my ass or something. Let's do this. See what they find. <sighs> I'm hurting, guys. This shit isn't fun. I've been dealing with it for oh yeah, almost. Well, a week and a half. And I've had spells like this in the past and they just would go away and I'd think nothing of it. And uh, here, here with this one, man, it's just not getting better. So it's starting to bleed into my training. That's when we draw the line, you know? I could hurt for 12 hours a day every day, but if it starts to interfere with working out, then whoa. All jokes aside though, I need to get it taken care of and I can't justify doing any more work here in the gym. It's just gonna make me sicker and in more pain. My head's already spinning. I'm already slightly dizzy. The pain in my lower abdomen pain starts in the upper abdomen drops lower i'm just bitching that's all i'm doing right now is complaining and crying fact is is i'm not doing any more sets <laughs> i'll see you guys next workout ah but i will say that i do feel like what was done today was effective i mean my legs are fat and they done lost all their definition Oof. Ooh, it's hard to even stand and pose. Woof. Uh, well, I'll see you guys for uh, back and arms in three or four days. Heavy duty crew. I'm out.